Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. Okay, so in this video we are going to be learning about variables. So what are variables and how can you use variables in your Delphi programs? So a variable is basically something you use to store temporary data in the memory of the, of the computer. So yes, before we start with this um, video, let's just select a random color from my um, color picker for the forms color. Just looking for a light color. I guess this color, this color is fine. And then select. Okay, let's just simply add a button. We'll be learning about local variables in this video. Okay. So local variables can only be um, used from within the procedure if you make the local if you make the local variables inside of this procedure. Okay, so let's just press enter. So the variables so the variables will be between um, this procedure and begin. And we start by typing VAR, which is var and stands for variable. And then we start we start specifying the type of variables we want. So let's start with the most common variable, which is a string. So you first give string a name. Um, let's, let's call it S um, name, followed by a colon, and then the, the data type, which is the kind of or the type of variable. So a string. So a string basically um, holds text. Okay. So this is just simple normal text. Text such as um, hello world or my name or whatever you want to type in there okay and text is okay so, so so the next common variable is the integer let's just say i number and integer so integer basically holds numbers this can be anything like this or this or this okay so integer has a limit to it, um, a max and a minimum, which we'll look into um, in a few minutes. So the next common type is, uh, okay, in integers can't have, it, it, it doesn't support um, decimal values. So for that, we can use a double. Let's give it a name, D. Um, let's just call it, let's also call it numbers, number the number, a double type. So double can hold values such as this, for instance. Okay. Also, I'm just um, now naming the most common um, um, variables and data types. There is plenty more. I'm just naming the most um, popular ones and the ones we, we will be using. Okay. Then we get a byte. Um, let's, let's call it num. So byte basically holds um, integers as well, but integer but those it holds integer integers from um, minus oh from zero to two five five. Okay, so if you have uh, integer between those numbers, then uh, byte is recommended recommended instead of an integer. Then we have a boolean. Let's say b bool and then something. Okay. So boolean can only hold um, two values. Oops. And that is true and false. Okay, so boolean can only be true or it can be false. True or false. Okay. And some other common data types are let's see what else do we have which is common. Um also have I uh, have plenty of other data types, but I think this so these these are these are the most common ones and the ones we will be we will be using most of the time just think a bit here okay let's first start and learn how to use them let's start by saying s name so the same way you um, change the property of something you change you assign a value to a variable as well so we're going to, going to be saying s name colon equals and then we say we give them a text here so let's for instance um give the name of Sean result 
Let's change this i integer to i age, and then we type my age there. So I, before we do that, let's first show message. And then we simply show the name. So here we basically create, create, create a, created a variable called sName of type string. And then we assign a value of short result to the sName. And then we just simply show the sName. Let's compile. Click on a button. You'll see it will show shown result. Okay, let's move on here. Now let's say I age current equals 19. So I'm 19 years old. Then we say show message I age. Okay. Now if we compile, we'll see we'll, we'll be getting an error because I age is type integer. But show message, when we do here, you'll see it expects a string. So you have to convert this um, integer into a string. Therefore, we have a function for that. So here we simply say int to str. Then we wrap the ih into, into this um, brackets. Basically, this um, int to str will convert this integer into a string which the show message can then use. So let's compile. And if you want to convert a string into an integer, it's pretty, it is pretty much the same. Instead of int to str, you will say str to int. So that's just the opposite. Okay? So it shows the name and then my age. Let's go look at the double now. Let's call this weight d weight or length the length so d length colon equals i'm around uh why doesn't this oh i've got a semicolon there okay remember remember that that each line of code needs to end with a semicolon okay so d length is equal to 1.87 that's around how tall I am. Then we show message. The D length. And now it will error again because D length is of type double. And we want it to be string. So now let's convert it from a double to a string. And this by to do this we simply say float to str. Okay, because um, a double is actually also a float. Okay, so it's also called a float because of the decimals it has here. So we can comp compile. And to convert a string to a, a float or a double, you'll say str to float. Okay. Oops, I forgot to actually test it. I was, I was thinking in my own brain now. Okay, let's just compile again. So we let's just make it make it a bit smaller. Click on it. So it shows the name, then the integer, then the double. Okay. Let's look at the byte. B num colon equals it. Let's just simply say um, two hundred. Show message. Uh, B num. If we try to compile, we'll get an error. Here we can also say int to string. And then we compile. The computer is a bit slow now for some reason. Okay. You'll see here it displays 200. And we can't go above 255. So if we, for instance, try and add 400, 
you'll see it will automatically air as same if we go below um, zero it errors because it has to be between zero and 255 okay so it can be zero for instance and can be 255 but can't be uh, below zero or above 255 let's look at the last one which is a boolean so booleans can simply be true or false so we can say true or we can say false okay but for now let's just make it true you can't really use it you can't really use it right now but that's about it okay so yes guys so basically if you want to convert um a string into an integer integer instead of uh ach, i meant a uh, yeah, a string into an integer instead of this way and you can also use the str to int function. And if you want to convert a string to a float, you can use the string to float. Okay, hey guys, that's basically it for this video. So this is called a local variable if it's declared within um, a procedure or a, a method. We'll later look into um, global variables and private and public and these variables here but for now you could just learn um, these different variables here we can also go here let's just say Delphi different variable or let's say data types and then we should get um, something from Delphi basics yes and here you can see different um, data types are oh, here, 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 here it also shows the max and the stuff let's just zoom in a bit okay so here you can see um, the different variables you get we'll definitely be looking into some of the other ones here as well um, we can also look into char let's um, quickly run over char so let's say c and then later of type char so char just has one character in it so you can for instance have c or s or um whatever you want even like this for instance okay so it only has one character in it it's also um a string character so it's a it's a literal character so if you want to add one you add one as a string let's add c later and let's say s then we can simply simply say show message and see later okay so i think now these are the most common ones which i'll be using in my videos most of the time Okay, let's make, it, make this 200. As you can see here, the max for byte is between 0 and 255. For a short int, data, data type is that. For a word, it's that. For a small int, it's that. Long word is that. Uh, something bigger than an integer is this one. It's int, int, for, int 64. Uh, here you get different ones for decimal values. We'll mostly be using double, but we'll also look into currency. Uh, here you can see the different strings. We'll mostly be using string here as well as char. Uh, here's boolean, it's true, true or false. And you can forget about these things for now. We'll look into the rest of these things later. Okay, guys. So I was just you guys play around, play, play around a bit with this and see if you can also do the opposite by converting a string into an integer, string into an integer, and a string to a float. So yes. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If this video helped you in any way, then leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go check out my social media links here on the left side of the left side of the screen. And you can go and follow me on my social media accounts. Then you guys can also go and download my um, apps from the Windows Store. My apps are, my apps are called Rosalt Color Picker and Delphi Programming Helper. I'll have the links in the description of this video. And you can go and down, download them. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.